Today I'm testing game breaking Minecraft blog facts and hacks that are 100% true. Watch until the end to see how insanely much we break the game. Minecraft's bells used to look like this. Bells to collect arrows in bedrock. Wait, what? No way! In portal chests. The taller in Java edition. Bells Why? Why? Breakers enchanting table. They make mobs glow during a raid. They I used have to, to try that. Extra hack. types in bedrock edition. Bells have the same blast resistance as iron doors. Interesting. There are 16 I types think? of bell. Bells make anvil sound. Bells Wait, don't drop without what? a pickaxe. Most <laughs> blocks on gold block make a bell sound. They're found in all village types. Piglins love them. Breaking bells won't make piglins what? angry. They Subscribe. like them. You're telling me that my Minecraft netherite armor doesn't. To flick mm. arrows, but apparently a ring dealing and ding 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 bell does. I don't believe this at all. If this is the case, guys, I need you to go and hit the bell on today's video, guys. Load up the arrow and wait, 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 wait. Did that actually just happen? Hold up, I need to do this again. Load up the arrow. And... I think it's bouncing up. It's glitching out a little bit here, guys. I think it is bouncing up, but I'm not sure. Okay, all the way over here and what bam? Bell. What is the luck? What bam? Look at that, guys. It does, in fact, reflect off the bell. It, it glitches out a little bit. You see this, guys? Look, I shoot at the bell and bang. It bounces off the bell and lands back out here. Are you kidding me? What is this, guys? What is this? Okay, you, you know what? Instead of wearing netherite armor, you should just wear bell armor. And, you know, don't forget to wear a bell on your head during a raid either because apparently not only do they protect you, but you can ring them and they're going to show where mobs are. But if we give ourselves the bad omen effect here, guys, come at me, pillagers. Where in the world are they? So we got an iron golem taking out the pillagers over there. Hopefully he doesn't kill them. We've got one here. If I switch into survival and ring this bell... Okay, no, this pillar is gonna come at me. I rung the bell. Oh, there it is, guys! You see, look, they do glow. I had no idea. Only for a brief second there, if I ring the bell, the bell has like a weird little effect. Look, see, the particles appear around the bell, and then just for a split second, you can actually see where the pillagers are glowing. I'm definitely gonna be doing that during raids now. Is it true that they make anvil sounds when you place them down? So, I guess we just place them down. That sounds like an anvil. No way. Wait, wait, we'll put down an anvil? A bell? Oh my goodness. Yes. Creativity over at the Mojang and Minecraft Studios, guys. They're literally just like, hmm, we need a sound for the bell. Why not just copy and paste the Advil sound? <laughs> Use this micro fact number five. Uh -huh. When you set the what tick exactly speed to 100,000 using this command and okay. destroy a cactus, it will grow faster than it breaks. Wait. Therefore, what? sending it into oblivion. <laughs> Subscribe flying for cactus. more. cactus! I want me a flying cactus. So let's go ahead and test this out. Uh, Mr. Cactus, you are now my test dummy. Congratulations and welcome to the video. Let's type in this command. It was game rule random tick speed. And then I think it was 100,000. All right, there we go. And now, what? We destroy the bottom of this cactus and it's supposed to grow faster. Oh, there it goes! <laughs> Look at that, guys! My cactus is going to the moon! The moon! The moon, the moon, the moon! That is so cool, guys! Because it's growing so quickly, it's breaking the bottom while the top is growing, and then it's dropping little cactus pieces on the ground. That is actually really, really cool. Don't mind the, the flying cactuses behind me. Let's uh, continue on with the video. Uh, what exactly is going on here, guys? You can't shoot arrows through holes in doors. Yeah, well, that's pretty standard, you know, big brain Minecraft logic. There are holes in blocks, but you can't shoot through them, even though you can literally see the holes. Maybe Minecraft should change that. No, why is he still trying to shoot it through the trap door? You can't do it, man. Give up. It's not possible. Okay, we got a sign. Uh, there's no holes in the sign. What exactly? You can't shoot through signs. No. Oh, yeah. Minecraft logic. Who's that? Oh, yeah. It doesn't exist. Are you kidding me? You can't shoot through literal holes Bruh. in doors and trap doors, but you can shoot through signs. So let's put up our few different doors. I already can feel like, guys, I'm about to be very disappointed with the results of this. And, of course, our sign. This is dumb. All right. Honestly, if this works, it really will be dumb here, guys, because, you know, you can make armor out of bells, but don't make it out of signs, apparently. All right. So here we go. We'll go ahead and shoot our arrow right through the door. Yep. Nope. It's not, it's not happening. <laughs> All right, that's door one down. Let's try door two. Yep, nope, door two down as well. Can't shoot through that. This one is literally almost all holes. But you can't shoot through it. All right, uh, to all doors down. Let's try through the trap door. Trap door one down. Let's try through this trap door. Nope. All right, okay. If you open up the trap door, the arrow goes through. So it's very obvious, guys, that you cannot shoot through the holes of the trap. This one even looks like it's gone through the trap door, but it hasn't. It's all a lie. But, you know, if we just, you know, come up to the sign here, guys. Let's shoot shoot the sign. You've got to be kidding. There's no... Okay, we need a target block here, guys. I just need to see this for myself to prove that this is real. I just... Please don't. Please, no. Okay, ready? We'll shoot through the sign. You're kidding me. You're kidding me. It hits the target block. It literally goes right through the sign. The sign is like a literal non-existent block here, guys. And we put target blocks behind this sign as well. All right, there we go. Bang, bang, bang. 
And now we grab our bow and arrow and go, it goes through. It literally goes through the signs. Can it go through two signs in a row? Let's give this a go here, guys. Two signs. You're kidding me. You're kidding me. Your signs are completely useless. How to grow dead bushes with bone mill? That doesn't make any sense. I thought dead bushes were dead, guys. What? So you surround them with water. Uh-huh. And then what? Are they supposed to replenish their nutrients? And then you bone meal them? Oh my goodness, what? And it makes a fence tree? That looked legit. And while it looked legit, it just feels so fake. I mean, there is no other item in the game where you have to surround it in water before you can bone meal it, guys. But then again, this is a dead bush. Perhaps the rules are different? I don't know. So we'll go ahead, put down our dead bush. They broke out the blocks around the dead bush and made sure it was completely surrounded with water. Then they went ahead and bone milled it. So I guess we'll give it a go. Uh, it didn't work. Wait, wait, try again. Do I need to be in survival mode? Okay, uh, guys, it's not. But now I'm unhappy because I genuinely thought this might work, but we've been clickbaited. So I'm putting my foot down and we're exposing this creator. And surprise, surprise, they clickbaited us using none other than command blocks. Those slimy scumbags, guys. I played around with a bit and the easiest way I could do this was with three command blocks. First off, they pre-built the dead bush tree that they wanted it to look like the dead bush was growing into. So we just put one together here. Then they put a repeating command block over here and they had this, uh, if we go all the way to the front, they had, ah, back, 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 this is a really long command here, guys. There we go. Basically, they were execute positioning for a specific coordinate where they had chosen to put down their dead bush. We're going to be putting ours right in the center here. And you guys can see with the command in the chat, once it was at that position, they run execute. If blocked, they tested for water around it. If it was okay, then they tested that you used a bone mill on it. And once that happened, guys, it made sure it's facing the right way and it executed this and sets a redstone block right here. Here. It's a very complicated command there guys, but uh, if you guys do want to copy this into your world Just pause the video and copy it down. Basically it pastes a redstone block here when it detects you use a bone mill on our dead bush just over here. And in here, guys, we have a particle command, which is putting the happy villager particle down on the spot there. So it looks like you're actually using the bone meal. And then from here, guys, we've got one, two, three repeaters, all on full ticks coming out. And below this one here, guys, we have another command block, which is a clone command, which clones this uh, dead bush tree over to where this dead bush is, making it look legit. So now, guys, check this out. If we go ahead, destroy these blocks under here, that first command block is testing for the water and the dead bush here and boom check that out guys we use the bone mill and the minute it's used it goes ahead and activates our dead bush tree how cool is that guys we'll test this out again as you can see if i go ahead and destroy our dead bush tree as long as it's always in this same position it will work so if i put down my dead bush then you can see the redstone block hasn't appeared i grab my bone mill and use it and you can see the redstone blocks appears activates it and clones it in well that creator is busted. Minecraft's melons used to look like this in 2011. Oh, Running a melon with fortune can drop up to nine melon slices. Nine. You're melon saying slices nine. used to look like this. Piglins can be distracted using a glistering Wait, melon. What? Minecraft that Earth used no to have sense. melon golems really? that could launch melon seed projectiles. That's glistering cool. melons used to only need one gold nugget to craft and used to look like this. Even though axes are fastest, swords break melons slightly faster than hands. This Why? is called a melon I slice in Java edition, but just a melon in Bedrock edition. Yes, that melons makes sense. were first revealed in an interview with Notch. Subscribe. Huh. So you're telling me, Mr. Piglin, that if I just throw a few shiny melons at you, you won't care to kill me anymore? Well, it's worth a shot here, guys. Let's give ourselves some glistening melon slices. And if we go ahead and just chuck this over here... Wait, what? They full-on ran to it, guys! Oh my goodness! And they picked it up! Look at that! So they not only are distracted by them, but they'll pick them up and eat them for themselves? Yo, what? Okay, wait, we're grabbing a few more glistening melons. Alright, we'll chuck one out here. Look at that! They just run straight to them, pick them up, and they love them. Okay, wait, if I switch into survival, will they distract them enough for them not to kill me? Okay, I'm in survival. All right, they have some melons. Yo, look at that, guys. They get distracted and they don't even want to kill me anymore. Does that mean I can just punch them off? <laughs> this is brilliant, guys. No need to learn how to fight these guys. Just go ahead and get yourself some glistening melons. Too easy. Okay, water and lava. Why exactly? Oh, we're gonna see how quickly lava and water flow. Well, obviously, guys, the water is going to destroy the lava. Wait, why did the water just stop? Are you kidding me? And the lava's gonna keep going. That doesn't happen. This is clickbait. This has to be clickbait, guys. This is fake. There is no way that this is real. We'll test it, but I'm certain that the water will travel more than this lava. What? It, 
It literally made... Okay, now the water's going... Why did the water stop again? Is it a glitch, maybe, when water goes around corners that I don't know about? The lava seems to have no... Pro if the lava beats the water down to the bottom, I'm going to be salty. I will be salty, guys, right now. If you think the lava's going to beat the water, leave a like. If you think the water's going to win, subscribe. All right, here we go. No, I'm going to be... I'm going to be so salty. No. Fake. No. We are proving this is fake. All right, I copied exactly what they built in the video, and we're going to see exactly how real it was. So we'll put our lava on that side, our water over here. Let's hit our lava. Bang! Okay, look at our water go, guys. Our water is a flying down. It's not getting stuck by anything like it did in the video. And look at that. Too easy. The water literally demolishes the lava all the way to the bottom. Look, the lava... The lava's literally going to run out. It's not even going to make it to this first corner. Oh, my God. The video's fake. The video was so fake, guys. But how in the world did they fool us? That's what I want to know. So, of course, I'm going to expose how they did it. Well, if you actually look behind the wall, they had a bunch of command blocks hiding back here. Basically, they had a repeating one that was testing for lava. And when it got there, it spawned in a new lava here, guys. And then we had lava. And then it was testing for here, lava. And it was spawning in more lava all the way down. By doing that, guys, it's not only spawning lava, allowing the lava to actually continue instead of getting stuck there. But at the same time, if you guys look at the commands in the chat, it's also removing barriers that are actually hidden inside of the path. That's what made the water stop. It wasn't a glitch or anything, no. They put barriers in the path, and we had command blocks testing for when the lava got to these three positions, and every time the lava got there, it cleared the barrier on this side. You guys can actually see this in action in just a second. We'll go ahead and put our lava on the top here, our water up here, and now when we hit this lever, bang, as you can see, the water will come down, get stuck at the barrier, you there our lava will come down nice and slow just like it did in the video here guys this is the key to their clickbait the lava reaches this block here where the command block is hiding you guys saw it and it respawns in a lava block and then just in a second it's going to go ahead and break out this water barrier any moment now here guys so the lava keeps coming down all right now it should reach the second position here where there are two command blocks bang all right and the water is on the run until it gets stuck by the next barrier block there the lava comes down once again. Uh, I believe we have another test floor coming up very soon. Here it is, guys. You can see as the lava reaches these command blocks, bang, it spawns in another lava, and the water keeps going until it gets stuck by this barrier here, allowing the lava to win, just like they tricked us in the video. You've got to be kidding me. He's going to try ender pearling into the crafting table. I've seen these block facts before, guys. They do not work. You cannot ender pearl inside a block. Stop trying to do it. Just stop. Okay, he's going to try again. What are you trying to do? There is nothing in there. There is nothing. You end up from the top? Nope. Okay. He's going from the side again. Okay. You got to go right. Oh, yes. And he just magically so happened to teleport inside a crafting table where there was wood and just lying. Yeah, that's believable. That. No. No. This is fake, guys. And I already know how they did it. I'm going to expose them, guys. I can't believe it. Okay. Yeah. And then he's doing it. Are you kidding me? Okay. That's a chest crafting recipe. What exactly is going on here, guys? Oh, and there's a chest magically. He didn't even look at the wall, guys. That was probably just there beforehand. There was literal sky. Do I look like an idiot? No, I am not going to get clickbaited. Look at this, guys. Let's, we'll just throw a ton of end pearls in here. Wow, wow, wow. Look, we'll do exactly what they did. They zoomed right into here, threw an end pearl. Yeah, no. Nope, look, I can jump on top. I can throw end pearls from any direction you like. From Saturn, from Mars, from Jupiter. I don't know. I mean, it just doesn't matter. I can throw as many end pearls as I like, and you're never getting into the crafting table because it's fake. And let me show you how. It's fake. Basically, they just had a pre-built crafting table that looks a little bit like this. Then over to the side here, guys, we have a repeating command block. If we go ahead and open this up, it's execute if entity at e scores equals throw equal two. And then from here, guys, we have a comparator like so coming out here that goes into a command block that has TP at P and it teleports you to the inside of this uh, crafting table right here, guys, right on the inside, just like they had in the video. And then on top of here, guys, we have a chain command block, which resets the scoreboard. Now, if we go ahead and throw this, you guys can see this is an active yet. Now all we have to do is create a scoreboard for this throw that we're testing for inside our repeating command block. So open up the chat and you type in scoreboard, objectives, add, you name it, throw, and then it's minecraft.used colon minecraft.ender underscore pearl. Just like that, you hit enter. And now if we put down our crafting table here, guys, and throw our end pearl in there, bang, as you can see, it teleports us right inside our crafting table, just like they had inside the video. It was pre-built and everything, guys. All a scam just to get views. Now, for our next block pack, you're actually going to have to subscribe because that's all the time we've got for today, guys. If you enjoyed, subscribe, hit the like. I'll see you in the next one. Until then, it was your man. Bye.